Hello all, it's Noah here, and it has been a great while since I have actually recorded a live video that has not been of music that I've recorded with my friend or of any um, radio station recordings, also known as air checks. Um, so if you know me well enough or you have watched my older videos, you know that I am interested in vintage electronics. Um, to be more specific, um, tape recorders and radios and things of the like. Well, that pertains to computers as well. Not quite as much, but I am interested in older computers, and this is what this video is about. It's a compact Presario R3000 laptop. This thing is huge. It's it's even thick for its time. Uh, these laptops are from 2004. I'm gonna attempt to show views of it. That's the side where you'll find a cooling vent. The back where you'll find the adapter already plugged in and another cooling vent. Yes, two cooling vents. You know why? Because this is powered by an Intel Pentium 4. That explains the two cooling vents. Those things get really hot. There's the side with the CD-ROM drive and there's the front. And this is the the bottom. A ton of ventilation, practically all of the bottom is ventilation. Again, because those Pentium 4s and you know how hot they run. This came with uh, Windows XP Professional Service Pack 1. I managed to upgrade it to Service Pack 2. I could not find any Service Pack 3 downloads that I could run or run correctly. I'll just go over um, the specs. The Pentium 4 is a hyper-threaded 3 gigahertz processor. 512 megabytes of RAM. Not impressive, but it's Windows XP. It'll get you by. Um, and the Wi-Fi, it has a Broadcom 54G max performance um, Wi-Fi card. But it's strange, it connects to N networks too. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I didn't think that they were forwards compatible. So, um, let's open the laptop and boot it up. And you're all about to find out how I use computers, if you didn't already know. Because, yes, I am blind, I cannot look at the screen and go, yeah, I can just click on that. <laughs> You're all about to find out how I use a computer. Let's boot up, turn on power. But yes, it also has a 150 gigabyte hard drive. I believe it's a Western digital hard drive. I believe these things originally came with Hitachi's. Maybe this one came with the Western oh. digital, or maybe the guy on eBay put it in there I don't exactly know all I know is that it works the screen resolution on here is pretty high too I don't remember exactly what it is I just know it's good for 2004 it's like 1920 by Windows on Windows unknown. there's a log on screen I just tab Turn over to user one. user one user one loading you how dare you interrupt you the Windows XP startup sound? Aww, that sucks. I don't get on the internet with this thing much anyways. I really wanted an old Windows XP laptop so I could run a select number of old programs I have. Most of them are audio games. And do believe I'm going to demonstrate one of these audio games. As you can see on my desktop, I have stuff desktop list recycled into a 12 everyone has stuff on their desktop I'll open the control panel for you guys after I turn this down a little it is a little loud start menu menu open control panel and control panel open. folder scanner and schedule security sound mx sound and audio speech 20 system 20 system System properties dialog system colon Microsoft Windows XP professional version 2002 service pack to register to colon computer colon tab control general tab selected 
General Property Page System colon Microsoft Windows XP Professional Version 2002. You're all probably Windows laughing at the synthesizer. Computer colon HP Intel left paren R right paren Pentium left paren R right paren 4 CPU 3.00 GHZ 3.00 GHZ 512 MB of RAM support. Oh, how impressive. So there's system. Control pen. I'll play a little bit of music. Local disk. Documents and settings. User 1. I'll play a song that my friend and I recorded. Seems appropriate. It's a cover of a song. Yes, I do have Winamp on here. This is a cover of a um, 1950s song. So there's that. And as I'd said, I will demonstrate an audio game. This audio game is from Light Tech Interactive. Ha, uh, Light Tech. It's called Light Cars. Light Cars 10. And for some reason, I cannot play this on Speed my newer off. computers because it gives me an error. It's a um, ActiveX error. But on here, it runs absolutely fine, as you will soon find out. I'm not too big of a gamer, I just like to play a couple of games every now and then. Introduction. I never, I never really asked if there were any credits that scrolled over the screen as the introduction things were playing. You guys get to hear sounds. Now, how this game works, there's two modes. There's normal mode and there's arcade mode. I always like playing in arcade mode. I'll click start. I can choose between choices of cars here. I normally like using... It's called the electric jib. Easy is too... Easy. I always play normal. So how this works is you hear cars passing you. And if it's the left lane, you have to use the right arrow to move into the center or the right lane. And if it's the right lane, you have to um, pay close attention to um, stereo sound. There's a hole. I might not want to go into that hole. There's up a level. That's nice. Let's crash. Just. So you can see how that works. And I'll keep crashing. Purposely. Let's crash again. Like that. Let's crash again. These cars keep... And then your engine slowly just dies. Note, I am a lot better at this game than I am actually showing I am. Oops, I missed that one. I'm just purposefully crashing right now. Oh my god, this thing doesn't want me to lose. There we go. That's nice. Your final score is 20. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can just scroll down to exit if you want. So this was kind of a short video, I know. It was nothing more than talking about a laptop and things like that. But um, I hope you found this video at least slightly interesting. Uh, like, comment, dislike if you don't like it, whatever. Subscribe, tell other people to subscribe, unsubscribe if you want to, I don't, I don't know. 
Have a good day, afternoon, night, morning, whenever you're watching. Goodbye.